Hey guys, I just found some interesting, or a collection of interesting radioactive things on eBay that I thought I'd talk about. Um, there is a certain group of people who believe that negative ions are good for your health. Um, I'm not really going to get into whether or not that's true or not, other than they have some essentially impossible health claims associated with these, but that's neither here nor there. People can believe whatever they want, I guess. Uh, but the main thing I'm interested in is the fact that these, all of these things are actually radioactive. Um, so we have these credit card sized uh, things, which supposedly admit negative ions. I'm sure they do, but because they're radioactive. But um, there's this thing, which is like a sticker, which is pretty about the same activity as both those. Uh, this disc, which is actually quite a bit more radioactive than these three things, and then a quantum pendant. Um, I didn't pay any more than a few dollars for any of these things. Uh, none of them get much more than that. The quantum pendant can get kind of expensive, but I wasn't going to bother with anything like that. So, um, just to show how radioactive they are, I have my Geiger counter here. Uh, it's a Mica windowed pancake probe. So it's pretty sensitive and it can detect uh, alpha, beta, and gamma. So we'll start with the quantum pendant, measuring that. Oops, I can get it centered on the tube approximately. And this gets, when it's positioned correctly, around 800 counts per minute, I have found. But right now, the way I have it positioned, it's uh, 600 counts per minute or so, um, which is above background, of course. Um, if we start with these cards, uh, and these are actually sort of interesting. You can get a, a different count rate depending on which side is flipped over, so I suspect uh, whatever's in here is closer to one side than the other. Um, but anyway, so there's that one, and of course we take the other one, it's going to be very similar. And if I, if I try flipping this around, the count rate will probably change noticeably. You can see it got, uh, higher by a couple hundred counts or so, so yeah, those aren't crazy hot. Then there's this guy, which, yeah, in my experience, actually uh, gets a higher reading than most of the other things, but I suspect that's because because it's a, the sticker, the radioactive material is distributed all pretty much on the surface. Um, which means more alpha can escape, and this Geiger tube is, of course, very sensitive to alpha, uh, at least in close proximity, like this. And then we move on to this guy, and it ha is actually much hotter than all the others. Over four, wow, over 5,000, 6,000 counts per minute above background. So, yeah. Um... And just for comparison, um, I have these two uh, thorium lantern mantles. So these are used in uh, like propane camping lanterns, and they do contain thorium so that they glow more brightly and they're incandescent. And you can see they're uh, pretty much they're they're definitely more radioactive than any of the other things I have here. Um, and I should mention, these aren't, like, extremely radioactive, they're not dangerous or anything, but it is, uh, noteworthy that, uh, they are, in fact, radioactive, so I would not condone carrying these around, but if you were into that sort of thing, it probably wouldn't really have any effect on your health whatsoever. Um, so, yeah. And with a different detector, uh, I have a Lugman Model 16 connected to a, uh, I don't know, like a two inch by one and a half inch uh, plastic scintillator tube that I made. Um, so, starting with the card, 
I'll just do one card. Oh, um, background is between like 1500 and 2000 counts per minute. So, this is maybe very mildly noticeable on here. This is only sensitive to gamma, by the way, but it is very sensitive to gamma. Um, so, not much from that. And if we take this little thing, uh, you get about as much, maybe a bit less, as the card. Then with the quantum pendant, um, there is actually more material in the quantum pendant, but it wasn't uh, getting as much from the Geiger counter, probably because it's distributed throughout this volume, and you can get some attenuation of alpha and probably some beta as it um, has to escape the inside there, whereas with these, everything's pretty much distributed over the surface, so there's less human. And of course, the hottest one of all goes clear off the scale, switch it into times 100, it wasn't times 10, by the way. Um, we get in the neighborhood of 10,000 counts per minute, which would be, um, you know, 8,000 to 8,500 above counts per minute above background. So, yeah. And finally, um, I have done some tests with these to try and figure out what's in them. Uh, the quantum pendant uh, claims to be made of, like, natural rocks, so you'd expect uranium and thorium. And in fact, that's what I found with gamma spectroscopy. This has a picture of a volcano on it, so I assume the same thing, tested it, and in fact it was thorium, and the same with all of these, but just as a demonstration, um, if I go over here to my Gamma Spectrometer, uh, you can go ahead and stick this guy inside the testing chamber, close her up, this is a, um, one and a half inch by three inch sodium iodide scintillator, um, on a Canberra Series 35 MCA. Uh, I've already done an energy calibration to this using 137 spectrum, and uh, we'll just run it until we start to see something. So we'll come back and see if we can identify. All right, so here's our spectrum. Um, we have what is clearly a thorium spectrum. If you're familiar with gamma spectroscopy, you can probably recognize that, but we have a photo peak at about 240 keV, which lines up nicely with lead 212. Um, we have another right around here at 347 or so, which lines up nicely with actinium 228, or one of the photo peaks of actinium 228. Uh, there's another noticeable peak right about here at uh, 583, which is exactly where it should be for uh, thallium 208. And then we have some higher energy peaks that are harder to see over here, um, where they're not as intense uh, in the 900s, which corresponds with higher energy actinium 228 peaks. So, yeah, I'll probably uh, show uh, some spectra I took of uh, this card and maybe the quantum pendant uh, over a longer period, and it's just a better spectrum. But, yeah, so you can clearly see it's thorium in there.